I knew one day this would happen. What I didn't know was how soon. And this was too soon. My phone is broken. Yes, my phone from 2006, I believe, is broken. And the problem I have is that it broke in two months. And now I've got nothing. So it, I don't even know how it broke. It just broke of like old age. It was like, I'm done. I can't do it anymore. So I uh, called my mom on the house phone. I was like, hey, mom, what should I do now? Because I got to figure something out. My mom actually says, go to the Verizon store and see if like there's like a replacement battery or something, which I think is ridiculous for a phone that's like 11 years old. But I'm gonna go to Verizon anyway and see what they can do for me. Hey! That geese was hissing at me. Here I am at Verizon. I feel like this is just gonna sound like a giant prank to them, but it's, it's true. I, uh, my phone's broken and I got a Verizon phone. I was wondering what I should do. Is it in your name? Who name is it in? It's in my father's name. You need to have him come in and probably get an upgrade. How much do upgrades cost? Cause like... Depends on the phone and the plan you're on. Okay, cause I'm on his plan, but I, I pay him for the, for the bill. I'm 20. <laughs> Yo, I thought I was talking to him like he was a kid, yo. Like, you gotta have your dad come in. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I didn't even know. No, what that's okay. Back, yeah. Yeah. The guy in there was super nice. So I pay my dad every month for the phone bill, and but I'm still on my dad's plan. And what they were saying in Verizon was it'd probably be best to upgrade. So I'm probably gonna have to do that, but I'm still kind of bummed out that my phone is broken. My original summer plan was, while saving up for the California trip, to save up for a better phone since my old smartphone broke. By the end of the summer, I would have enough money to, to do an upgrade. But the thing is, I need to get a new phone a lot sooner than I wanted to. So I just woke up from a nap. I, like, after I got home, I just passed out. And now it's dark outside. But yeah, and as far as what I'm doing tonight, now that I'm awake, not really sure. Probably will finish some homework and, uh... Wow. Mm. It's every day, bro. What's every day? It's every day, bro. It's every day, bro. Are you filming yourself doing homework? Yeah. Am I gonna be in the film? Yeah, if you want. I thought about ending the vlog today, but I kinda, I'm bored right now. It's 12.30 a.m. I took a two hour nap after work because I was exhausted. And right now I am so bored, but I'm super wide awake. Welcome to Night Walk with Dryden number one. Uh, but I keep it real and I don't think I'll ever change I'll never lie if you can look me in the The fact that you can buy fidget spinners at 7-Eleven <sighs> America Now like I said, I'm going on a walk because I am literally so bored and not tired that that this is what this is what I do now also, this gives me a chance to talk to you guys, and you can't see my face. Okay, that's better. First thing I want to say is that I really enjoy reading all of your comments. Now, one guy commented saying he wants me to make videos like I used to make. I used to make more of a skit style videos. When I vlog every day, it's not like I want to make another video. So what I think I'll do is I'll just incorporate skits into my vlogs a little bit. See, another point concerning the, the skits I used to make is I still have all of them. They're all privatized. And I will show you one the second any of my vlogs get to 100 likes. I only say this because Chris wants me to. I see this night walk with Dryden as a chance for me to talk to you guys, my viewers, and for you to then leave comments. This walk was particularly uninteresting. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow.